And you're Alex? Whitman. Right, Alex Whitman. Isabel Fuentes. It's nice to meet you. Selma Hayek remembering Fool's Russian co-star Matthew Perry. It's a story about uh, love at first sight and fate and are all those things real? I gotta this say is... this is good. Yeah. I gotta say I've been very lucky with men in film. The actress sharing a series of pics from the 1997 rom-com and writing, Two days ago, she woke up to the shocking news that he's no longer with us. It's taken me a couple days to process this profound sadness. Isabel. <sighs> you remembered. How could I forget? In Fool's Rush In, Matthew and Salma play Alex and Isabel, who find themselves trying to build a family after a one-night stand in Las Vegas, resulting in an unexpected pregnancy. I happen to think there's an explanation beyond reason, beyond all logic that brought you right to this very spot at the exact same time that I showed up at this very spot. Selma Hayek and I, in this movie, on our first date, we make a baby, and on our second date, we get married, and on our third date, we move in together, and on our fourth date, we start to kind of get to know each other. And gotcha. It's kind of a backwards deal. He's a guy that just wants to do the right thing, but is thrown in all sorts of bizarre situations that he doesn't know what to do and he can't figure it out. I've been looking all over for you. I would have called you, but you disappeared on me. She really made me laugh the first couple of times we met, and she's not easy to make laugh, so it's kind of a, a struggle every day to try to crack her up, which was great. It was screen tests and stuff. That's where we got to know each other a little bit, and I always thought it was, it was gonna work out. Selma says in her post, there is a special bond that happens when you share dreams with someone and together you work towards them. She says last year she was very moved when Matthew shared on Instagram how much he loved Fool's Rush In and how he thought that that film we did together was probably his best movie. Isabel, what can I do? I'll deal with it. No, really, I want to help. Throughout the years, he and I found ourselves reminiscing about that meaningful time in our lives with a deep sense of nostalgia and gratitude. Today, in one of the takes, in his best take, yeah. I couldn't hold it and I laughed in the middle of it. He actually was excited that I was correct. I couldn't hold it. He was just, he scared me. He surprised me so much that I, I, I couldn't hold it. I almost screamed. Selma concludes her tribute to Matthew, saying she will continue to cherish your silliness, your perseverance, and your lovely heart. Farewell, sweet Matthew. We will never forget you.